Side of a Wendy's when no one else is in the dining. There's a couple people cooking. They're in their cooking back there in the Wendy's kitchen. <laughs> They're making something d delicious. No one's in the dining room. And but then at a certain point you realize why the fuck am I dining in a Wendy's? And it does feel a little a little nasty. And you notice all the bubble gum and fentanyl everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it at that. We're going to bring up our next comic. <laughs> oh, my gosh, we're having a good time already. I'm so excited to bring up this next person because he's really, he's awesome. He's putting in work for comics locally uh, all around the D.C. area, so y'all better thank him in advance. This man is here tonight. He's here to kill on no uncertain terms we have here in the house. Are you ready to go? Because I'm about to bring your ass right on up. We got Jenner Coker in here. Was that my little notebook? Oh my God, Is it, does it come in handy? I know, you just, you, there you go. Is yeah. that working? All right. Man, that Ethiopian guy was sticking out, man. That's a straight Giga Chad move, like, like ha I have to put that above like doing bicep curls in the squat rack at six o'clock after, at the gym. Uh, be like, oh, you're using that? All right. Let me go piss in the stall real quick. <laughs> I don't know. I, I wish he would have kept, kept eye contact with you on the way out and be like, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, the other day, uh, there was a, uh, heard these, I was on a hinge and there's this, uh, a lot of accounts say, like, of, like, tall women, they're like, please don't ask me if we can have D1 babies. And I think they need to get over themselves because this day and age, you don't need tall women for D1 babies. You just need boys. <laughs> I'm going to a boy in hockey, and then, like, once he graduated high school, I'm just going to kind of be like, Hey, you, you see dad struggle with school debt your whole life? Yes, dad. Join the dark side. <laughs> uh, I don't know. With my luck, I'm probably going to end up with like five girls. Then uh, I'm going to just have to like kind of micro over the situation. Um, let's see. <laughs> Michael, blind side. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sa I'm gonna have to Sandra. I'm gonna have to Sandra Bullock my way out of this. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, so I wrote all this earlier today. <laughs> um, yeah. So my ex, she was kind of had had some pain kinks, you know, and. I think she thought she was getting risky with it, but I was the one at risk. Like, the worst thing for her, she, like, passes out, and I got to, like, hey, wake up. For me, this is, like, easy, like, five-year sentence, right? <laughs> Things don't go right. <laughs> anyway, we compromise as our relationship, and we just did candle play. And at first, I was kind of timid with it, you know, kind of like when you're throwing chicken in the fryer, you know, you kind of like, you know, kind of like, you kind of back off and like, you okay? Then like you 
kind of get into it, and then uh, I realized I had that kink level whenever I was at my uh, nephew's birthday party. You know, like like when you're just singing like "Happy Birthday to You," <laughs> "Happy Birthday to You," "Happy Birthday, Dear Logan." Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Where's my Oscar at? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared to do that in front of an audience. Well, I, I, that part I had, I tried out last week and I did the birthday bit and it was in front of kind of like nobody but I'm scared to do that in, I'm, I'm, I'm scared to do that in front of a crowd and then like if I, if I start doing like the happy birthday part and like they're just like really I can't stop you, you can't stop till you finish happy birthday you know so I <laughs> uh, but yeah awkward moment right <laughs> Another thing that's awkward is uh, my For You page is, uh, like, I don't think I'm, like, a big horn dog or anything, but, like, I'll definitely, like, stay and watch one of them, like, Peloton videos for a couple minutes. <laughs> the for, for You page is like, oh, you like that? Here's just a women gems. <laughs> and... I hate it because I really try to keep all all my horn dogginess like away from my phone until like the right moment. I try to keep that out of public eye, and then like my for you page will just be littered with just like you know just straight ass shots and everything. And I'm just like no 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 no. Like I'm like scared of women. Like if I see a post with women, no tips, no. <laughs> and it takes like a week to recover. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, that, that's all that I had planned today. Uh, but I do want to try out that bit that I was talking about. <laughs> I would much rather fight. I'd much rather fight four people than a mob. So hold on. I'm very prepared today. Um, okay, I'm just going to wing it. Okay, so, yeah, so uh, my ex, she, her job up in Milwaukee was she all the worst kids in the Milwaukee school district, they throw them into one room, and it's her job to, like, make sure the building doesn't burn down. And uh, a lot of times she'd come home with bruises and black eyes and such. And I don't like that, you know. Because, like, you know, that's my boo. But then secondly, it makes me look like a bitch. Like, I can't be going out in public with my girl all bruised up. Because then, like, guys will kind of take some freedoms. And, like, anytime, like, we raise our voice at each other or she acts annoyed at me, be like, everything all right, ma'am? <laughs> Hold on, sir. I didn't do this. I would leave much bigger marks. <laughs> that's where that's where the groan went. Like as soon as I said that, oh, and I was like, <laughs> but yeah, if uh, if the bruise doesn't fit, then you can't quit. <laughs> I di I didn't get to that part. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I, I did, for the record, I, I don't beat my girlfriend, uh, I, I beat my meat. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know, your, your poop story kind of made me want to tell my poop story. I, I've never tried telling this on stage because, I don't know, it's kinda, I've been told to like try to stay away from stories, uh, but I'm going to let, let it go since just made it. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, I used to work for Amazon, and uh, 
one day I was working and like I was about to, I was in kind of a nice neighborhood where like the houses were kind of like two acre, three acre lots. And I got right to the door. It's about to ring the ring doorbell. And all of a sudden my stomach just World War III went off and I had to take the shits, man. So I was kind of like freaking out. I actually dropped my package and I, I tried to run around the bushes because like there's nowhere to go. Like I didn't, I wasn't going to knock on the door and be like, hey, let me, uh, you know, unload some like massive, massive sewage in your uh, toilet before I head out. <laughs> so I, I look, so I like going and I'm like kind of like urgent, like, you know, and I look and it's like one of those houses with security cameras everywhere. So I was like, oh shit. So I'm like running to like the next neighbor's house. And same thing, security cameras. And then at this point, I'm just like, oh, my God. Oh. And I'm, like, trodden. And I, I eventually, in the third house, I just dove behind the bushes. There were security cameras, but, like, I wasn't going to, like, shit my pants. I, I Like, I kind of matrixed it, dove behind the bushes, and was actually shitting, like, sideways, like, laying down on the ground. So uh, now I'm out of socks, um, continuing on with my day. And then... Uh, about 10 minutes later, same neighborhood, same thing happened again, and there went my underwear. So I was having a bad day. I was getting sick, and so I stopped and called my boss, and I told her, like, I don't know, have you ever, like, done something while in the middle of the act, you're like, this is not a good idea? I was like, I'm not going to tell my boss I just shit in, like, three yards. <laughs> so I told her, I threw up in three yards. <laughs> Sounds a lot better, right? <laughs> if, why is that a lot more socially appropriate? Like, if you throw up in someone's yard, that's because you're sick and, you know, you should be taken care of. But, like, if you're sick and take a shit in someone's yard, that's, like, not okay. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. instead of like, oh, yeah, you need to, like, go to the doctor's office, you need to go to, like, the psych ward, <laughs> different doctor. <laughs> oh, man, but, uh, yeah, so then I called my boss, and I'm like, yeah, I threw up in three yards today, and she's like, oh, well, if you don't get 90% of your route done today, we're going to charge you, you know, if you quit, you don't get paid for the, and they charge you $100. And I'm like, I guess I'm shitting more yards today. <laughs> Broke college student, you know? So, I yeah, the whole day I was like kind of, have you ever seen like a supernova or like the star explodes? And that was kind of like my, my mouth and my asshole just kind of. And I, I remember it was a low point in my life because I was wiping my ass with the corner of a brick of a house. The corner of the house, like a brick house, the corner, I literally like spread my cheeks and kind of like doing whatever I could. <laughs> and so eventually, <laughs> yeah, I didn't work there for much longer either. Man, but so I eventually, made my deliveries and I don't know they didn't say anything so I was like okay so I go home and uh I don't know my my family is like a poo poo pee pee humor type family and so I told my mom that on the way home I'm like man I'm I'm I got fever I'm feeling sick and by the time before I got home a 30 minute ride Two of my aunts called me, and they're like, you did what today? <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I had the talk of the town by the time I got home, and we were eating dinner, and on the news, uh, there was a story about, uh, over where that, there was an Amazon driver, and I thought, and... They were caught on security footage uh, driving through yards away from dogs. And I'm like, oh, my. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my. Like, uh, I, I thought I had, yeah, I thought I was done so. <laughs> Seeing my face shitting on yards everywhere. But, uh, yeah, that's my story. Uh, 
I told myself I'd never work for Amazon again, but literally every single job that I've had outside of college, Amazon had been like our direct customer. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my Amazon story. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, there, there it is. Awesome. Yeah, go ahead, Give it one more, one more time for Jenner, everybody. Jenner, oh my gosh, what, what a riveting tale. The plight of an Amazon employee. <laughs> oh my gosh, good job, man. Good job. That's why. So that was true. Yeah. No part of that was fabricated. That's insane that you wiped your ass on a fucking... So you were saying throwing up in someone's yard is more socially acceptable? Yeah, like, is it? I, I would think not, because, I mean, that's, like, acidic. Shitting in someone, that's, like, that's fertilizer. Shit is fertilizer for the for their yard, for their flowers. 